So my husband and I were just kind of sitting at home and one of the members of the theater company messaged my husband and said, is the theater okay? And we were like, I, why is she asking us this? <laughs> so we live about a mile away. So we got in the car and we drove kind of down past the high school, down towards downtown and we saw smoke and truly thought it was coming from the theater. So I immediately burst into tears <laughs> because this is like my third home. This is where we spend our time and, and what we support with our energies and finances and all those things. And once we realized it wasn't the theater, there was a sigh of relief and then there was panic because, oh my gosh, it's not the theater, but it's something else. And we have such a tight knit community and we all support and love each other. And so the next question was, what is it? And figured out that it was the Underwood Lockers. We were down here pretty early in the fire and stuck around for quite a while and sort of watched it spread, which was, was frankly frightening. We knew there was personnel here. We knew they were doing things about it and we had faith in them. But still, this is an important community uh, for us and losing even one building is losing a part of the history of our town. And that's, that's truly heartbreaking. We are incredibly grateful for the fire agencies that came and responded for our little community. And ultimately, we offered them water, we offered them a place to sit, we offered them restrooms uh, because we know that it's grueling hard work and that they deserve to be treated wonderfully because they're saving the buildings in our community. Um, and I think they used this area here also as a staging area just so that they could kind of spread out their needs. Of course, we're, we feel very blessed that our gem of a theater wasn't hurt, but we also know that it easily could have been. And I read that there were 11 agencies and 55 firefighters involved, and that is, that is just a, a, an incredible blessing for us and for our community, and we're very grateful.